This is 126, practical malware analysis. And um, the point of this class is to understand how malware infects Windows machines. We are not going to do Linux malware. If you want to exploit Linux machines, that's 127. Um, there we learn how to write Linux exploits. And I don't think I'm teaching 127 this semester, but probably will be next semester. Anyway, this is all about Windows malware. And really what it is, is Windows internals. What you're learning is how Windows software works. And therefore, how to abuse it. So, um, we meet, as you can see, every Tuesday night. And you can come physically, as a few people have. But the more popular option is to just attend on Twitch which you see here, this Twitch live stream. And also, if you need help, you can tune into this live stream at 7.30 any night, Monday through Thursday. I'm teaching different classes, but by 7.30, I'm done with the lecture, and I can just answer questions. You can come in with any question from any class, even classes taught by other teachers, you know, whatever. Just because one big problem ever since the pandemic is I have students to connect remotely, and there is some problem, and they're just miserable, and months go by, and they say, nobody will help me, my machine doesn't work, this is awful. So if you need any kind of help, just connect to my Twitch, and I can, should be able to help you. Um, all right, so uh, the, for this class in particular, um, here's what we're going to cover, um, types of malware, and we're going to perform the analysis you do to understand how malware works. There are two types of analysis. There's static analysis and dynamic analysis. Static analysis is looking at dead code, analyzing code that is not running. And it is relatively difficult, although it comes in a, a basic and more complicated form. And dynamic analysis is more fun and easier, where you run the malware, deliberately infect a machine, and see what it does. Of course, you use a virtual machine for that, that you can throw away or restore back to a clean state. And that's easy and fun. And there's a more complicated form of dynamic analysis where you run it in a debugger, and you stop the code and modify the code. And that's how you explore execution paths that are not present by default in your virtual environment. And we're going to do all those things with a lot of tools to do this. So uh, that's the, mostly what you're going to be learning is uh, how Windows works and various reverse engineering tools. This is called reverse engineering, where you have a finished product, and you take it apart and figure out how it works. And that's what malware always is. Malware, you're always presented with a finished product, and you're not presented with the source code or any documentation. So you have to figure it out from the code itself. And that's what we're doing here. So there's a Canvas system. And I had a student ask me about that. If you go to City College right here, there's Canvas right up there. And the Canvas is the online course management system. Uh, there's a Canvas for every course that you, um, that you are enrolled in. And uh, let's see, I got to do this and this. There we go. And so, for example, for this class, 126 is here. And so if I get to student view, I'll see what you people see, or at least something close to it. All right, and there you go. So there are um, units here. So I'm going to, uh, this is general information to get you started. And then there's uh, quizzes down here. You just take the quiz online. You should do it before the class. And then uh, there's projects to do, which are hands-on projects, and I'll show you that. So your score consists of quizzes. There's a discussion board on Canvas. You have your discussions after the first couple of weeks that you contribute to for points. And then there, there are hands-on projects, which is the most important part of the course. And that all adds up to a bunch of points. And uh, then 90% is an A, and 80% is a B, and so on. So I've got a policy statement here. So I even figured out 700 points in this class or something close to that. So 90% is an A, 80% is a B, and so on. Now, you can take the quizzes and do the discussions and do the hands-on projects, and that's the simplest way to succeed, but there's a ton of extra credit. If you go to the projects, they're here, and you see there's normal projects and then there's a bunch of extra credit projects. There's a lot of extra credit. There's a ridiculous amount of extra credit because I keep adding more and more to the class. So you can totally make enough points here to make up for anything you don't want to do, like the discussions or quizzes. All, cause then you're really doing stuff hands-on, and that's all that matters. What really matters is doing it. Although some students really like to read the book and learn the terms, 90% of my students just want to do stuff. <laughs> and that's fine. Anyway, so um, all right. So that's a overall summary of what we're going to do. There's a textbook here is the textbook you need, Practical Malware Analysis. It's available free through the City College Library. You can do that here. Could Although, you get access what's that? I couldn't get access to the, um, oh. the book. Oh, well, you, um, you should be able to, although I think it's no longer called Safari Online. That's what um, somebody, I think it's now called O'Reilly something. Maybe that time I was uh, not uh, enrolled, 
enrolled? You do have to be enrolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when you're enrolled, I think it's yeah, O'Reilly. I was not enrolled yeah. Okay. Yeah, one thing, I'll, I'll change these instructions. It, it's, oh, to change, Safari has changed to O'Reilly textbooks or something like that. I'll change it. There's a different phrase you have to search for. Um, in fact, let me see if I can find that now. Uh, students told me that during one of my other classes, and I put it, it was in forensics, so I can find it. Let me exit student view. And I'll get that name right now because I haven't updated this page like I should have. And so it is important for people who want the free copy of the textbook. Uh, it was here, and I think I updated the page here. Um, yes. There. It is... Um, Yes, just go here. Here's the link. Okay, it is O'Reilly. Yep, there's the link. And I'm going to put it, uh, for now, I'm going to see how I put it on my news links. There we are. I'll put it on my news links. Um, free textbook access. All right, there. Um, so if you go to samscoss.info and go to news, it's right at the top. That's the link to get your free copy of the textbook. And I'll, I'll, put, I'll update the page to link to that later, so it's right. So anyway, um, oh, by the way, this book, this particular book is, there's PDFs all over the internet. It's been around for a while, but those are technically pirated. The one that get through the library is technically legal. Anyway, um, all right. So that's um, one thing to know. All right, and uh, I think that's about it. There's ways to get points and score. And of course, everybody's welcome to attend the class, even if you're not officially enrolled in City College. There's a second canvas available here for non-CCSF students. You can participate in every way, but you don't get official college credit. And we get people connecting from other countries and stuff, which is fine. All right. Um, so first, we're going to go through the first couple of chapters here. There is a discrepancy in the chapter numbers. The chapter numbers are different in the ebook than in the material paper book for some reason, so that's why I give you the full titles here. We're going to do the first two chapters tonight, and then about uh, more chapters as we go ahead. Uh, by next week, you should start doing quizzes, read the chapters, and do quizzes. In general, it's best to read the chapter and do the quiz before the lecture. Can't do that tonight, but that's why I planned for this. But these asterisks tell you you won't be any late penalty charged if you're late on these ones, because people are still adding. All right. Any questions about anything? Let me see if there are online questions uh, here in the Twitch. Okay. Uh, if you Google O'Reilly student login, yeah, well, we can, I found the page, so good. Somebody else found the page, good. Okay, good. For non-students, some public libraries also grant access. Good, that's good to know. Okay, good. So let me stop this recording and...